Welcome to Pirate Sports Nation. I'm Jerome Barber, uh, the announcer for the games and a proud alumnus of Hampton and want to welcome you to this 2015-2016 season. This is game week for us, opening game, Kentucky uh, is in our sights, but we have with us uh, Miles Grooms, who is not a stranger to Hampton, uh, senior this year, uh, defensive end. Uh, last year we called him the machine. This year we call him the enforcer. I want to welcome you to uh, Pirate Sports Nation. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Um, looking at the uh, season this year, um, you, you've been named team captain. Um, you, you're a leader and a senior. What, what, what are your what are your personal goals uh, for this year? A personal goals, I just want to help the team win a championship. That's all I want. And um, I've been doing that by going hard every day at practice, doing training camp, uh, staying back after practice, and uh, spending a lot of time with the younger guys to get them caught up to speed so they can be able to play too. So this is my, one of my personal goals is just to make this team better and win the championship. Uh, Legacy-wise, you, you uh, led the team in tackles last year. Uh, we're... Uh, you, you put some personal goals on yourself as far as uh, those type of achievements this year? Oh, yeah, I have a few personal goals, but as of now, you know, I'm just, all I'm worried about is the team just winning. I just want to make sure I can help my team be in the best position to win games and that gets our ultimate goal, which is to get into the championship game. What, what, what are you telling the young guys? I'm telling them uh, just, just follow, follow me, uh, especially for D-line-wise. Just follow how I go through it. other seniors like Charles Owens and we got a Greg. Um, a grad transfer and Rob Zimmerman. Just, just follow us, see how we practice, so you know the tempo, you know what's expected from us and from the coaches, so you know how to uh, go about practice and to uh, prepare yourself to play. Exactly. You're um, uh, entering into, once again, your senior year. Um, you, you got your sights set for Kentucky. Um, been a long off season, uh, particularly the last time he was on the field, walking off the field with a, uh, a one-point loss. Um, tell me about your offseason, how you prepare yourself as well as the guys to hit that field again. Oh, yeah, we've been working hard ever since uh, winter with our Ashton coach. Coach Butler is a great coach, um, has a great program set up for us, and uh, we've just been grinding, grinding. We've all been hungry. We had like a little bitter taste, you know, from that one-point loss, but um, – we are, the best thing about it is we got another chance to prove ourselves, and that starts this Saturday. Um, new, new defensive coordinator, uh, new coach. Um, uh, how, how has that transition been for you? Oh, it's been great. You know, he uh, went back to a 4-3, and um, that's what I've been playing previously in my career here. So it wasn't that hard for me to pick it up, and um, it was easier for me, you know, to help, like, the people who just got here and the younger guys to pick it up, too. And um, I feel like it, it fits our defense. We have the personnel for it. And um, like I said, during camp, we've been flying around having a ball in it, so I'm excited about it. All right. Well, we expect some excitement on the field from Miles Grooms leading the way. The, uh, I guess i got to call you the enforcer this year. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to some exciting action on the field. This is the Pirate Sports Network getting ready for the game opener. Uh, we're here with the Hampton Pirate Sports Network. I'm here with uh, David Watford. Um, he's our quarterback for this year, as well as uh, named team captain. Uh, captain along with Miles Grooms. Well, th this is a homecoming for you. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. You know, it feels good to be back home and, you know, around familiar faces, you know, seeing you, seeing Coach Rose, you know, it's a lot of guys that I know from before. And, you know, it's just good to be back home, be able to play in front of my family, in front of, you know, a lot of people that saw me at a younger age. So I'm just excited. Yeah. Uh, Major Mark in a wonderful way at Hampton High. Um, still got some records uh, that uh, nobody can touch as of yet. Um, but you've been away for a while, so uh, coming back, what kind of perspective do you have as far as um, coming back and then coming, coming to Hampton? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, just coming back, I feel more mature, definitely more mature, and just a bigger understanding of life, of, you know, football, of, you know, a lot of different things. And I feel like, you know, being at Virginia taught me a lot of things and just helped me become a better man and become the man that I am today. So I'm, you know, very thankful for that opportunity. And, uh, you know, just being back now is, you know, coming to Hampton is, is just taking everything that I learned, just applying it here and just trying to better myself each day, better those around me and just learn and grow. Uh, transition wise, I know uh, 2013 was a great year for you um, at UVA. Um, you know, 2014 uh, was kind of a challenging. Let's be real. Yeah, challenging year for you. Um, from your perspective, 
uh, making that transition? Um, how, how has it been coming into a new system here at Hampton? Uh, uh, it's, it's been it's been wonderful, actually. You know, that year really you know taught me a lot about myself, and you know, uh, not to dwell on you know negativity or different situations. To just keep going each day, keep pushing, keep fighting each day, because you never know what what may happen or you know what what could occur. So that really taught me a lot about myself, and then just bringing that to you know to Hampton right now and. You know, growing each day. You know, learning from Coach Manor, from Coach Taylor, from you know Coach Smith, and just trying to you know, push myself. Coach Manor, he's on me every day in my butt, yelling at me. You know, whatever he needs to do to you know get me motivated, get me fired up. Coach Taylor's the same way. Coach Smith is the same way. And I really, you know, I really appreciate people like them, and you know, being able to be coached by people like that because they're very knowledgeable. They know what they're doing. They're just trying to get me to execute the way they know that I can. They they trust in me. They believe in me. So I'm you know thankful to have them. That's good. Um, one thing just to help clarify for those that can't appreciate the game of football. Um, it's, it's always uh, when the coach stops yelling, yeah, that's yeah. when you get worried. When the coach stops yelling, that's when the coach doesn't care anymore. So you can yell at me all you want to, Coach Manning, because I know you still care. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, just some personal goals this year. Uh, personal goals just to be the best that I can be, you know. Uh, lead my team uh, each day, day in and day out, you know. Uh, be the best man that I can be off the field as well, you know. But football-wise, I think a personal goals with me would just be to have a very successful season, you know, break records. That's what I want to do. I want to break records. I want to, you know, make my mark here at Hampton University because I came here for a reason. And, uh, you know, I want to leave my my, uh, my own mark on this university. And, you know, I feel like that's that's what I can do and that's what I will do, especially under him. Uh, X's and O's is great in football, but one of the important things is um – you know, not just hearing from the coach, uh, but actually in your position with your maturity, uh, being an actual coach on the field. And so um, how, what, what kind of coaching style do you have? Uh, coaching style do I have? Uh, I, don't, I don't really have an identity yet. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say, you know, I still try to learn from him and, you know, get more comfortable in the offense and to where I can, you know, oh, I see something, I can change it and then explain it to him and have him understand why I did it. Because I'm, I'm doing that here and there now, but I want to be able to do it more often and, you know, just be more, you know, fluent with it, be smoother with it. So I wouldn't even give myself a, a coaching style yet. I'm just, I, I wouldn't, I don't even know what to name it. I'm just, I'm just out there just trying to learn and grow and just, I'm just trying to be the best I could be. Well, you know, we heard a lot about you. While you were there in UVA, and I'm sure you heard a lot about us last year, um, you know, weighing, you know, what you've heard and being able to come in. Um, how has what you heard either confirmed or matched what, what you now see once you hear it? Um, we have all the talent in the world. And, you know, it's very similar to the situation we're in at Virginia, you know, a couple of years ago or the season that I started because – you know, the difference between a win and a loss is maybe four or five plays in a game. And watching film and seeing what, you know, I saw about the team last year, it's four or five plays each game that they had lost that determines the game from, you know, them winning or them losing. So it's it's very similar to what I saw because when I was at Virginia, it was like we, we fight hard, we work hard, but it's the four or five plays to where it's in the fourth quarter or, you know, we make turnovers, we make mistakes, and that, that really kills us. And being here, it's been, you know, the same way, but I feel like this year is, is something different about us. We've worked hard in, in all camp, and even in spring. It started in spring, really. We came out with a new mindset, a new attitude. You know, our defense really revved it up, and they've been pushing us and, you know, challenging us day in and day out. And then it fell over in the camp. You know, we've been fighting each and every day, and, you know, we're just excited to be able to go against somebody else now, finally. But I feel like, you know, with what we have talent-wise and the new attitude that we have this year, the only people that can stop us is us. Um, they say the windshield's bigger than the rearview mirror. Yes, sir. You get caught in the rearview mirror, you can't see what's ahead of you. Yes, sir. Reality is rearview mirror, last time on the field, uh, it was a one-point loss. Yes, um, how, how do you – motivate you know those guys that you got to hit that field with uh, on Saturday uh, you know to know that the windshield's there I feel like you know the biggest thing for me is just to bring energy and excitement to my guys and you know to just let them know that it's a new year it's a new opportunity for us you know what happened last year is last year this is this year you know it's, it's time to just you know make our mark you know our job is to do our job each play you know what I'm saying if you do your job each play you know what I'm saying? You look up, clock will say zero, zero, you'll be on the winning side of everything.
Fantastic. You've heard it from the quarterback and the team captain, yes, uh, David Watford. Welcome home. Yes, it's a great homecoming. Look forward to seeing some great things uh, threading that needle yes, out there on the field. This is Hampton Sports Network. Hampton Sports Network uh, game week, first game of the 2015-2016 season, and we're grateful to have uh, Coach Maynard with us today. Uh, Coach Maynard, it's been a long off season. It has, it has. It's been a long off season, and uh, especially when you lose your last football game, uh, you just want to get back out there and uh, get back in the win column. And so it's been a long off season, a long summer, uh, but finally it's here. It's game week, and uh, we're ready to roll. Um, a busy off season, though. You had some uh, critical positions to fill. Yes, sir. Um, coaching wise, as well as player wise. Um, just let's talk a bit a little about about the uh, new coach. Okay. Uh, defensively, uh, we um, replaced the defensive staff. We got a um, new defense coordinator, Mike Ketchum, uh, came from Delaware State, and uh, really his base is like a four-two-five, uh, but he played some four-three and, and some and some three-four, and so um, he going he gonna get some um, offensive coaches some fits with uh, changing up his fronts and and what he like to do with his linebackers and his different blitzes that he has. So we're pleased to have him aboard. And then uh, we got um, Coach Baycoat, uh, yeah. Hampton grad, mm -hmm. uh, coaching the safeties. Um, uh, and then we got Coach uh, Foster is coaching the cornerbacks. Uh, we got him from Campbell. And uh, he's doing a great job with those guys. Uh, the secondary um, wasn't the best uh, in the league last year. And so um, with his addition, uh, we already seen major improvements out of those guys. And then Coach Henry uh, moved from – he was interim defense coordinator uh, last year um, once Coach Phillips yeah. left, and now he's the defense line coach. Uh, offensive side, we just added Cameron Smith. Um, he's uh, helping me out with the quarterbacks. He do the, he put them through the individual drills and things of that nature. Um, but that's it with the coaching staff. Uh, players, um, we got some new players. Um, we got some transfers in here. We got some some good freshmen. We probably signed uh, 14, 15 freshmen, and I'm telling you, they they can they can really play. And uh, you'll see some of them uh, this week out there uh, making some plays. Um, the, the, some of the transfers we brought in, we brought in um, um, Alonzo, a wide receiver from uh, the University of Cincinnati. Um, offensive line, we brought in um, uh, Prater, Jamal Prater from uh, Oregon. Uh, we brought in um, Big Gabe Murphy from uh, um, Arizona, as a JUCO. Um, Will Fox uh, from UC, uh, um, UC ECU. Mm -hmm. um, tight end um, Drew Drew Owens from uh, University of South Carolina. Um, defensively. Um, we got a cornerback, Botain, from uh, JUCO. We have a cornerback um, from Michigan State, Wims. We, uh, we got a cornerback from Auburn, Uni Auburn University. Um, we got safety from Syracuse. Uh, defense lineman from Toledo. Uh, got a cornerback from Toledo. And I think that's it. That that that's uh, that's enough. <laughs> that's uh, how do you take all of those young men from different programs? Uh, you know, it's one thing to uh, have freshmen come in, but you got transfers coming in, exposed to a whole different system than uh, maybe a Hampton system, and um, you know, get them to gel together um, and create that chemistry um, that they need to be able to play together. Well, one, they're older guys. Uh, a lot of them are grad, grad uh, students, um, and those guys understand the game of football. They've been around it so long, um, and it's just different terminology. The game is pretty much the same, and different coaches use different terminology, but they're still doing the same thing. They're still in three technique or one technique or five technique or seven technique or nine technique, and, and they're playing football. Yeah. Uh, and so you don't really have to motivate those guys. Those guys got degrees. They understand. Uh, what the game is about, uh, paying the price and and the discipline. And so it's not hard to get those guys on board and get those guys going um, as as it would be a freshman. The guy is maybe still a little bit immature and, and really not ready to uh, do everything he's supposed to do and work as hard as he's supposed to. Um, so 
it, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I, I think, uh, you know, that's why they hired me. You know, they, that's why we hired me. I got to get these guys on the same page. Got to get them on the same page as the coaching staff um, because we, we understand what the other team is going to try to do to us. And just like they understand what we're going to try to do, but we got to get our players to understand what they're trying to do right. and get those guys prepared. And uh, the coaches that can do that the best is going to be the coaches that are successful. Your uh, first year under your belt and entering into your second year here um, at Hampton, um, you know, what are some of the things you uh, reflect upon from last year and then um, expectations for this year? Well, you know, it was, it was the first year in, uh, with a new program. And so it's a process, you know, it's a process, um, you know, Rome wasn't built overnight. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, you got to take it and uh, take the good with the bad and, and the learning experiences and the bad games, the games that we blew, the games we could have had, should have been in or, or, or was in and didn't win. Learn from those mistakes and, uh, and, and pull them out this year. Um, Kentucky, uh, first time you've seen, uh, first time Hampton's played. Uh, Kentucky played against Kentucky. Um, um, how, how how do you prepare for um, this first game? Well, uh, you know it's a Division two football team. Um, we respect all fear none. Um, hey, they're gonna be in a four man front, and we know that. And of course, you can do a couple different things from that, and we'll be prepared for those uh, offensively. Uh, secondary, we'll we'll be prepared for all coverages. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure they probably play the basic coverages four, three, two, and one, and maybe cover zero. So uh, we we'll have a guys prepared for that uh, defensively. Um, I think they're going to be in the spread. We think they're going to be in the spread offense, and that's what most most teams do anyway. Uh, so we shouldn't have a problem with that uh, defensively uh, adjusting to the spread offense. Um, and if they're not in the spread, they can't they can't do anything that we haven't already shown our defense because we're a multiple offense and we play every set. And so they have to uh, prepare for us and practice uh, throughout camp. So they'll be prepared for anything that offense run out there um, this week if they try to throw a new wrinkle. They can't go five receivers. Oh, we do that. And, you know, they go two tight ends. We do that. You know, they go two tight ends, three backs. We do that. You know, they go three receivers, one back, one tight end. We do that. They do three receivers, two backs, no tight ends. We do that. So we'll be prepared. Um, and that's our job is to get those guys prepared and uh, – We'll be ready for Kentucky State and uh, uh, here on the fifth. Um, game week, um, how you feel? How you feeling? I feel good. I feel good. I really do. I'm excited. I think these guys are, are going to turn the corner this year. I think the defense is going to fly around and, 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 be, and be hitting hard. And I think the crowd and our fans will be excited after the game at the new defense look that they see and how hard – uh, how many hard hitters we have. And then offensively, I, I, you know, I, I think that we're going to do a better job in the red zone this year and get more touchdowns. And we need to start it off this game right here and uh, put some points on the board and get everybody fired up and excited about the season as we are. And, uh, you know, I, I'm excited to see how Miles Groom is going to play and how David Wofford is going to play in his first game as, with, as a Hampton Pirate and, and, and then all the other new faces. But I, I think that uh, I think they're going to play well. Uh, respect to all, fear none. That's your model for the year. Kind of give us uh, just a taste of what you're going to tell these guys when we meet together right before we hit the field. I'm going to tell them respect all, fear none, and go out there and beat Kentucky State head in. <laughs> I mean, like I tell the guys, if my mama line up on the other side of me, I'm <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be lined up right there. You know, after the game, I'm going to love you up, take you to the hospital, get your bruises fixed. But if you line up in front of me, it's on. Yeah. You know, and that's how we got to do. We got to respect all. And if those guys are not on our level, not prepared to play for four quarters of, of pirate football, then it might be a blowout. But if they are, we prepare to fight for 60 minutes. Fantastic. Coach, thank you so much. Um, exciting about the – excited about the season. Uh, the first kickoff – um, Saturday, 6 p.m., and uh, it's on. The season is here. And I got one other thing. Uh, if you hear somebody say, move those chains, <laughs> another pirate first down. <laughs> That's me. Come on out and enjoy some good hard-hitting pirate football. This is Hampton Sports Network. But he'd probably be saying, That's another pirate touchdown. <laughs>